Ready, go. Hey guys, you're watching BTEC. My name is Basil. This is a charging video with the Sony Xperia XZ. The Xperia XZ has 2,900 milliamps under the hood. It's also got a USB type C, the first from Sony, but it doesn't have official quick charge 3.0 status like the HTC 10 or the LG G5. But what does that mean for the battery life? Five minutes in, we're going at roughly 1% per minute. So we're at 6%. It's got a Snapdragon 820 under the hood, so technically it can support it. However, Qualcomm has said that Quick Charge 3.0 actually runs independently of chipset and in the same breath it runs independently of connector. 15 minutes in we're at 16% so it's roughly the same story 1% a minute and then at half an hour 32% under the hood. We've done a lot of stuff on this phone we definitely found the biggest battery drain was the camera and the battery got a little bit warm when you did charge it and that affected the camera. Maybe that's why Qualcomm's maybe slowed things down or Sony has slowed things down. One hour 67% so still at roughly that one percent per minute but at one hour 30 things start to slow down slightly 86 percent now if you're thinking the HTC 10 was charged at this point and so is the LG G5 you'd actually be right we're at two hours half an hour longer than the HTC 10's charging time and we're at 94 percent everyone knows the last few percent always takes an age to charge this is no exception six percent in wait for it freeze frame two hours 24 minutes so yeah six percent in 24 minutes the same percentage that it took for the first five minutes of charge so that's how long the xperia xz takes to charge from zero using a usb3 connector high voltage the same one used as on the htc 10 if you enjoyed this video found it useful click that like button like the channel subscribe that's how you'll be staying on top of everything that we do thanks for watching btect